Hey guys, it's Amber with NotableInk.com and I am hopping along with CutCardStock.com today with two treat tags for Halloween. So all of the details are going to be on my blog. There is a $40 gift card giveaway and this is a short hop so you'll need to comment on each person's blog but it's super easy to do because there's not too many blogs to go through. So definitely go to the link below so that you can check out the blog post and follow along. So I'm going to do an over all over pattern with this Halloween stamp set from the Ink Road stamps. It was a collaboration with the Hedgehog Hollow. So this stamp set isn't available anymore, but you can use any Halloween set that you have. Also, it doesn't have to be Halloween related either. Um, this was a technique that I saw Ashley Cornell do once on one of her cards. So I'm going to stamp an all over pattern and then I'm going to cut some masks and then ink blend over all of these. So unfortunately I don't have the dies for these stamps, but they're really simple shapes, so it won't be too difficult to fussy cut them out. But what I have here is a stack of six full stick post-it notes, so you can see that there. And um, I am just gonna fussy cut the whole stack at the same time. So I counted up how many ghosts I had of each different style, because there were three different ghosts, and I went ahead and pulled that many post-it notes for each of them. And I do end up saving some of these post-it notes. You're gonna see, you know, after we take the post-it notes off, I have a ton of them. Um, so I stamped this in a pigment ink and you can see it's smearing a little bit. So I'm just gonna set the ones aside that are stamped so that I don't end up smearing them when I do the ink blending. So I'll go ahead and cover up all the little ghosts here with their respective masks and we'll get started with ink blending. We're gonna be using Ranger Distress Oxide inks today in Twisted Citron and Wilted Violet. Now, I literally was just thinking about Halloween colors and I'm not a huge orange fan, but I love green and purple, so I went with that, but it really didn't dawn on me until I started blending this. You can see like Obviously my Twisted Citron needs to be re-inked, so I'm gonna need to get a re-inker for that. So I'm gonna fast forward through this because it took me an age to actually ink blend all of that since my pad was a little bit dry. Um, so I didn't really think about how yellow Twisted Citron was. So you can see here, I'm starting to blend my Wilted Violet up into it and it's turning brown. <laughs> like, hello. Um, so think about your color wheel before you do your ink blending. Um, I did, after I was done ink blending this, I did peel one of the ghosts up. You can see like, I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? I'm like looking at it like that was not smart. Um, but I peeled one of the ghosts up and it was, it was brown. It was browner than I would have liked it to be. So what I did is I picked another color. I picked a transition color. I thought blue would probably be a good choice. I chose faded jeans and I kind of wish I had done something a little brighter, maybe like blueprint sketch because it looked a little desaturated compared to the other two really vibrant colors. So here you can see I'm taking off the mask. Now when I cut my masks, I specifically cut them so that there would be a little white outline or border around my ghosts just so that it would separate them a little bit more. It would have that halo effect around it. Now you can see I didn't center my mask perfectly on the ghost, but that's totally okay. I'm fine with that. Um, so the blue in the middle was really bothering me. I was trying to, you can see I have a stamp over there. I was going to do a large sentiment strip across the middle, but I kind of wanted to cover up the blue, but to do a sentiment strip there would be weird because it's in the middle of the card. Um, so what I ended up deciding to do was create tags. So I trimmed this down to a tag and that tag is from tagged your it from the stamp market. I think that's the name of it or maybe it's just tagged. Um, and then I, I stamped another panel in just a soft gray ink, a really light gray ink. I'm going to stamp this one with too cute to spook. I'll trim it with the same die and then for the toppers I'm going to use Curious Metallic Lime and Curious Metallic Violet card socks to add a little bit of shimmer and shine. I'll also back the tags with the same colors just to make them a little bit more sturdy. I originally stamped on Nina Classic Crest Solar White in 80 pound. 
Um, I'd recommend the 110 pound if you're not going to back it just to make them a little bit more sturdy. So because my little boo ghost with the sentiment was all the way up at the top, I needed to trim these down into smaller strips for the toppers. You could also do like a scalloped edge on the bottom of that with like maybe one of your border dies. And then I used some ribbon from Doodlebug to add some black and orange to the design as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these two cute to spook treat tags. And definitely, I again, I'll have the link listed down below as well as all of the supplies that I used. Be sure to follow along on the blog hop so that you're in to possibly win a $40 gift card so that you can get some fun cardstocks over at cutcardstock.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so that YouTube will share it out with other people. Thanks again. Have a great day. Goodbye.